But I can tell you about something with Thriller that you're going to find out in 2017. I just finished that, and it's pretty spectacular. What is that? It's a surprise. About Thriller? It involves Michael Jackson's Thriller. Oh, wow. So you're just teasing us now, aren't you? Yes, I am. All right. Well, we look forward to it. I tell you, but the Michael Jackson estate would kill me. When we, what people forget is when we made Thriller, the so-called video, the, the album was already the best-selling album of all time. It had been number one for over a year and was now like number three or four or something. And the, and the record company had no interest in making a video. It's interesting. It's really a van, what's called a vanity video. Just Mike wanted to do it. And he was enamored of Rick Baker's work in An American Werewolf in London. And he, when he contacted me, he just, I mean, his marching orders is, I want to turn into a monster. He wanted to change on screen. He really loved that movie. And so he said, you know, I want to find the guy that made that movie. So that's why he contacted me. And it was fun. It, years later, I, re, I found out how old he was. I thought he was maybe 18. He was in his early 20s, actually. But um, he was a brilliant performer. He really had genius as a, as a performer, as a musician, as a dancer. Well, he could turn it on and off. He could, he could flip the switch, very much like David Bowie I worked with. And David, you wouldn't notice in a room until he said, until he wanted you to, and then you couldn't take your eyes off. You're on the back of American Werewolf in London, I've got to ask you about Brian Glover from Barnsley. What was Brian like to work with? What did he bring to the party? Brian was wonderful. I, I didn't, when I hired him, it was interesting. He was known around the UK because he was doing a campaign of selling, he was the milkman on commercials. Um, but I met him, someone sent me a reel of, he had been a wrestler, and uh, I watched this wrestling match where he was yelling at some guy, and I said, his accent was dead on, and I brought him in, and he was a good actor, actually, really good, and he, what he did for the movie, he made it authentic, and he, he was great, I mean, he was a delightful guy, and he, and he could tell a joke, I actually put a joke in there so he could tell a joke. Because he, he was funny. <laughs> but it, that was filming Wales, not in North Yorkshire. Why did you do that? Why did, why did you forsake Yorkshire? Well, the truth is, historically, this is actually bizarre but true, the most werewolves in the world were in Normandy, in France. By that I mean they killed several thousand people, at the, burned them at the stake, hanged them, drawn quarter, for being werewolves. Um, followed by Wales. Tremendous number of werewolf people were put to death up there. We don't really say, it's supposed to be like the Yorkshire Moors, kind of. We shot in Wales because it looked great. Um, we were very, very lucky to have uh, John Landis, uh, the legendary Hollywood director, um, director of American Werewolf in London, uh, the Blues Brothers. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure to have him here. Um, it's, it's, been, it's actually been a few years in the making. We've been, I met him when he was in Sheffield a few years ago um, for, a, for an event and tr I've been trying to get him back ever since and now we've made it happen, so we're really happy. Okay, um, Celluloid Screams is Sheffield's Horror Film Festival. Um, this is our eighth year um, and it starts on the 21st of October um, for the full weekend and it's a whole um, full weekend of uh, brand new and uh, classic horror. Uh, it's at the Showroom Cinema, um, which is in, in the centre of Sheffield. Um, tickets can be bought from the Showroom website, which is showroomworkstation.org.uk, uh, um, basically celebrating the horror genre um, in the run up to Halloween.